400,000 metric tons are in the Central Bank of the Philippines. There's over 200,000 metric tons in Union Bank of Switzerland. And some of that gold is buried securely in the Philippines as well. Some of it is held in various banks, but the bulk of it is in the Philippines. So the World Bank holds the note on that gold? No, it is in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos. It is in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos. Perhaps I can tell you that uh, uh, the uh, property of the Marcoses has been uh, um, brought into a blind trust. Blind trust. And not a 2020 blind trust either. It's a real blind trust. All income goes into the Marcos uh, uh, foundation, which is uh, the foundation that embraces all uh, property. My earthly goods have been placed in the custody and for the disposition of the Marcos Foundation dedicated to the welfare of the Filipino people. In its sister organization, the International Monetary Fund, are very special organizations. They are sitting on top of the world's wealth, which was put into a secret account, and it has more gold than anybody knows about and it is cloaked in secrecy. The bankers do not own that money. It's held in benefit for humanity. World Bank and the IMF are listed on a special agreement that was signed in 1950 about that. A assets, it's gold. It's more gold than people know about. It's over a million metric tons of gold. And uh, the World Bank and the IMF have a special role to play making sure that that money is spent to the benefit of humanity. So where's the gold? A lot of people, some people believe that the gold in Fort Knox has disappeared. Um, that's been in question for many years. Congressmen have attempted to get an audit of the gold in Fort Knox. Um, so a million metric tons of gold is not something you can just hide. Where would you say that that gold is being stored? 400,000 metric tons are in the Central Bank of the Philippines. There's over 200,000 metric tons in Union Bank of Switzerland. And some of that gold is buried securely in the Philippines as well. Some of it is held in various banks, but the bulk of it is in the Philippines. So the World Bank holds the note on that gold? No. It is in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos and the authorized signatory is a German banker lawyer by the name of Wolfgang Strzok, who also lives in the Philippines. So how do, how do the people get the gold back? If, if it's their gold and it was taken by these bankers, how do we receive it? That is, that is the question. And they're just sitting there illegally and refusing to relinquish it. Part of the problem is that it's, this gold is cloaked in secrecy. But in the last month, uh, Wolfgang Strzok has been publishing all of the documentation. So it's there for people to see. We have the originals. And people just have to make sure that the banks do what they're required to do, which is release the world's wealth. That there is um, a special trust that contains just about all of the world's gold. It was established by Ferdinand Marcos. He, um, this gold, people want to know what the gold is. It's You're right referring now. to the president of the Philippines, of the, ex, of the former president of the Philippines who died in 89, correct? That's correct. That's who, except, you know, it's not clear about the exact date of his death because he had a cousin who, you know, he was removed. He was removed by the CIA. It was not by a popular uprising. You know how how the CIA stages these things. And he was sent off to Hawaii, but he had expected that this was gonna happen and he had gotten his cousin to stand in for him. So he was actually, it was his cousin that was um, in Hawaii, captive. Yeah. But, but anyway, what Ferdinand Marcos did was he took the world's gold. I was explaining what is the world's gold. It's gold from King Solomon. It's gold that the conquistadors in Spain gathered up from the Aztec and Inca civilizations. It is gold that was gathered by General Yamashita between um, World War I and World War II. And what the banks did when they gathered up the gold, they issued certificates to the wealthy people who had the gold. And those certificates had interest that was payable in gold. 
and the interest has been compounding. What Ferdinand Marcos did was he put the gold in a trust for benefit of humanity. And he did. He said that the, the trust would be for 50 years. The reason he did this, he, he was a lawyer and he knew that if somebody claims that they own something and they are not able to prove their claim for 50 years, that claim is extinguished. That's a legal concept called statute of limitation. That's your goal. It's 1,750,000 metric tons. Where is it? First of all, it's in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos. He was doing this as a young lawyer. Gold for gold, dollar for dollar, this country, the Maharlika, is the richest country in the world. During a talk show in IUS TV the week following the bombing of the New York Twin Towers, President Bush was asked this question, which is the richest country in the world today? With a smile he said, the Philippines. On April 9, 1973, Marcos said, my earthly goods have been placed in the custody and for the disposition of the Marcos Foundation, dedicated to the welfare of the Filipino people. Perhaps I can tell you that uh, uh, the uh, property of the Marcoses has been uh, um, brought into a blind trust. And not a 2020 blind trust either. It's a real blind trust. All income goes into the Marcos uh, uh, Foundation, which is uh, the foundation that embraces all uh, property. Hello.